Hello everyone, welcome to the Super Memory for Schools program, ninth grade English lesson of Miss Tao. Today we will learn Unit 6, The Environment, Lesson 2, Listen and Read. Today's lesson includes two parts. Part number one is new words. Part number two is grammar. And these are some words about environmental problems. Junkyard. Junkyard. What is a junkyard? It means disposal area, landfill, hedge, hedge. Raw sewage. Raw sewage. Look at the picture. This is raw sewage. Foam. Foam. Vessel. Vessel. The synonym of vessel is ship. Oil spill. Oil spill. This is a very serious problem. When ships spill oil, they will damage the marine environment, especially marine creatures. Folk. The synonym of folk is people. End up. End up. Look at the garbage bin. What's wrong? The garbage bin is littered with a lot of trash. To be littered with. And the last one, to be covered with. Let's review the vocabulary for today. Junkyard, hedge, raw sewage, foam, vessel, oil spill, folk, end up, to be littered with, to be covered with. We have just finished studying vocabulary. Let's go to the grammar part. Today I will present to you a new and very important grammar issue in the ninth grade English program. And it is also a special grammar issue that you will often see in the examinations. That is a conditional sentence. Conditional sentences include two clauses, the main clause and the if clause. Conditional sentences have some types. However, we only study type 1 today. Conditional sentence type 1. Real condition. Conditional sentence type 1 describes an event that may happen at present or in the future. And this is the structure of a conditional sentence. For the if clause, you will use simple present tense. For the main clause, you will use middle verbs, which are will, can, must, should, etc., plus verb bear infinitive. Verb bear infinitive is the base form. I will give you an example. Look at the picture. What is he doing? He's studying. And look at that picture. He gets good grades. If you study hard, you will get good grades. My example sentence includes two clauses. The if clause is if you study hard. For the if clause, you use present simple, which is the verb study. And the remaining clause is you will get good grades, the main clause. You will use a modal verb. That is will going with the verb base form is get. We move on to example number two. If it doesn't rain, we can have a picnic. If it doesn't rain, we can have a picnic. So, in my if clause, if it doesn't rain, where is the verb in simple present? Ah, that is doesn't rain. And for the main clause, I have a modal verb can, going with the verb base form is have. So, for today's lesson, you learned about words related to the environment and an important grammar issue. That is conditional sentence type 1. I wish you all the best in your studying time. See you again in the next English class of Miss Tao in the Super Memory for Schools program. Goodbye and see you later.